I really like this entry a lot, and it has a lot in common with an entry that Ryan Hall tried in not his last fight at the time of this recording, but the one before where he lost. I forget the guy's name that he was fighting, but um, it did, as soon as I saw this clip, it made me think of that. Um, the entry itself is, is totally workable. And just because Ryan Hall happened to not be able to finish it in his fights that he was doing doesn't mean this particular entry is not sneaky and workable, because it is. Um, so Ryan Hall was trying to finish heel hooks with this one, whereas these professional wrestlers are just going to kind of like um, Frank Gotch style toe holds or even like the, the same position that would open up a step over toe hold, even though they're not actually doing step over toe holds. So um, the the entry itself is worth exploring for other kinds of leg entangled attacks and other leg locks and stuff. Um, or if it's just meant to be done as a takedown where there's no intent to continue with leg submissions, also great. But can you certainly open up other leg submissions from here? You bet. Um, and a, one that would be high on my list would be um, a calf slicer, wherein I would actually insert my own leg, like my shin in between his calf and and the back of his quads. So um, that by no means is the only one you could go for there. There are plenty. And you could even just do like standard issue toe holds and stuff like that. But just this little dynamic of the downward turn and the outside hook grip of the arm um, that's definitely a, a setup that I'm going to be playing with a lot I really I really like it a lot it does come with some risk in modern grappling where someone could turn that into like an Omoplata entry or something but if you hit it quick and you hit it sneakily I, I think